Hello everyone, this is Garrett, and this is the Powerpuff Girls, Defenders of Townsville. And last time we played, we beat the game and unlocked Mojo's Key Quest, which is something I'm going to do now. Also, since the last time I played, I have stopped being an idiot and actually looked at options. Mostly, uh, this option, Pixel Effect. Pixel Effect was the reason why everything looked like pants, but... Now, I can choose classic mode, and everything will not look like pants, and it looks quite good, actually. Looks very, very good, uh, like very similar to the original, which I quite like. And we're gonna do Mojo's Key Quest, because we unlocked it, and we're gonna stick to hardcore, because it worked out pretty well last time. And I'm just gonna use safe slot number two, because it's the one I made previously. Remix world with harder enemies, start with most upgrades in all three girls, and collect keys to unlock new areas. <laughs> so yeah, it's basically a New Game Plus kind of thing from the looks of things. Again, I haven't actually played this, this mode before, so pretty much everything is going to be completely new to me. Also, it's been a while since I played the game. Been a few days now, but hopefully I should remember every bit of the controls. We keep um, most of our abilities, so that's pretty cool. I think the only ones which we don't have don't really matter too much. I think there was one which was like uh, punch those balls as they come towards you and they would explode. Like I don't think we have that one. And there was one to... Uh, I don't really remember what the other one was, but I think we still have stuff like, yeah, using dash to bounce off these things still works. So we got some pretty useful abilities regardless. And, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna play through this. I'm, this time I am actually gonna clear out every single room before leaving, just so I don't have to go back to that later. Now I know I actually have to do that for 100%, so, you know, we learned from our previous playthrough. And now we're just gonna see more stuff. Ooh, and we're getting a booster module on the first floor we're in, which is pretty sick. And there's a thing over there which I missed entirely. That's cool. And we got three more to increase max power, and it pretty much set us back to where we needed to be again. So, this mode has a bunch of locked doors. It has numbers on it, and there's 10 keys according to the thing, so I'm guessing there'll be numbered keys as well, because that one had a 5, and I'm guessing there's a key number 5 as well. Is that a bomb? Yes. <laughs> it's been a while since I actually looked at this, and also the, the models are slightly different because we're playing on the classic mode. So everything is, uh, you know, have to get used to this, the way it looks. There's locked door number 1, so hopefully I'm going to get some keys for that soon enough. I should probably stop taking damage, though, because the enemies are pretty strong right now compared to our very, very low amount of health. Unlike what we ended up with on our previous playthrough, where our health bar was really big at the end. But there are still health power-ups available all over the place, so hopefully we shouldn't get in too much trouble. But still gonna have to be careful. Hey, there's another power power-up over there. Power power-up is a good name for a power-up, but you know what I mean. Hmm, I think I can actually still punch the uh, projectiles that they're shooting, so maybe there's a different power-up that I'm missing. Also, when you're dashing, you can actually turn around without attacking at all by just pressing the attack in that direction button, which is pretty neat. I should probably do that more often because I'm almost certain that I fly faster if uh, I actually look in that direction. I'm not 100% sure, but it does look like it. And I just went in a large circle, <laughs> but I guess that leaves only one door to go through, which is this one. I actually really... I, I think I do really prefer, like, the classic visuals over the modern ones. Like, I just think the drawing style just looks a bit better to me. But that might just be personal preference, really. Like, I'm... I, I, again, uh, as I've said about a 100,000 times, I'm just... I'll never stop being used to the way that these characters are to me, supposed to look. So, you know, it's just how it is for me. And other people might disagree with me on that, but you know, that's what opinions are. Drop me some things. Yeah, there is another one down, but I kind of wanted things. I didn't get thing, uh. And I forget that dashing is strong against these guys now. And we got another booster module, which is good. There we go, eight more. We don't actually, I don't think we have any boost boosters right now. No, they're all still unknown. So you can't actually do anything with that. And we can also see just which ones we're actually missing, but I, I have completely forgotten which ones were on those two spots right there, so I honestly don't remember. 
but it's fine. I'm sure that we'll probably end up finding those missing power-ups as we move through the game anyway, so it's not much to worry about, really. Okay, so hit that key. I think I'm probably going to be Blossom for the most part, but I might switch characters every now and then just uh, for the fun of it. Just so we see the other characters every now and then. Even if they are just not as good, in my opinion, as Blossom, like, it's just fun to play with the different characters. And it's neat that this character can actually shoot through enemies as well. Like, the Wave Beam is actually really good just for taking care of multiple enemies at the same time, just because you can do this. Oh, jeez. I need to stop taking damage, though. Because these things hurt so much. Oh, my God. Uh, I might have to switch to a better character. <laughs> I wonder how good Bubbles is against these guys. These uh, do die quite quickly when you just actually hit them at all. So maybe I should try doing that. Ah, and the big health power-ups are always nice to get from random enemies. They're completely random from the looks of things, but god, they are so good. So let's keep flying through. There's another- there's a key over there. Wow. I want that. I need to open this door somehow, but I'm not sure where the lock is. I should just try to punch these things rather than try to hit them with my projectiles, because then at least I'll know that they'll fly backwards because of the knockback. Boing. And Bubbles can also insta-kill those things by just punching them as well, so I guess her attack is actually quite strong if all the three projectiles hit, maybe? Yeah, this this seems to work a little bit better than trying to focus entirely on using the projectiles, just because if all three projectiles hit, it deals so much damage as well, and it also just helps in general to, you know, have as much hit as possible. And I got a number one key, which I guess opens the number one doors, which is pretty sweet. Because I want to open every door, I want to open every room, and kill every single little thing inside it. And apparently at some point we got all our energy back, which I'm not really sure how that happened, but maybe we got it from picking up that key or something. And I guess the reason that, uh that Blossom just seems a lot stronger is because she only has two projectiles that need to hit and they're really close to each other. Whereas Bubbles just spread out a lot more. Maybe that's just the reason why it seems that Bubbles wasn't super good. Of course, I should just call her Oprah Winfrey from now on, but I forget sometimes. I get names confused all the time and this is no exception. Uh, these enemies are still very scary though. I d they are... They do seem to be a lot scarier than the enemies you fight during just the main game, just because they seem to be the more scary monsters that you would otherwise fight later on in the game, and they hurt a lot, and we don't have a lot of health right now. I wonder if any of these rooms is a save room. I don't think it is. No, it doesn't look like it, but that's fine. We don't need save rooms. We got courage and power and all that stuff. There's not a save room there either. I will still look for save rooms, though, because I'm scared. I don't like being scared. I'm pretty sure that door just leads back again. There's a door number two. Which actually looks like it has one of those things in terms of where you can just fly into it, but don't think that's going to work today. Unfortunately. It was worth a, th worth a shot, though. Uh, Yeah, I could go down. I could go up in the previous room, I suppose. Maybe that opened up by picking up that key, but I think I'm going to go down here for now. Just to see what's over here, since I'm already in this room anyway. Pretty sure I can break this. Yep. And that's a lot of dudes. Oh, and they explode very quickly. I guess the, these are smaller ones and they just don't have as much health, maybe? They seem pretty fast, though, so... It is something to look out for. Oh, I guess I do still have that power-up where robots can damage each other by exploding into each other, which seems to be pretty useful right here, dude, because it takes care of a lot of the little ones at the same time. So that's cool. Doesn't mean I'm not as scared of them, though. You big mean- I cannot do that voice for the life of me. At least someone commented that I should try to do Bubbles' voice, but... No. <laughs> I think that's not a good idea. Enemies clear, new booster, damage reduction. I hope that auto-equips, but if it doesn't... Yeah, it did. It's my favorite one, and the one I'll probably just, again, use for pretty much the entire game, because it worked out pretty well last time. And the less damage I take, the better. I'm just gonna kill that one because it was close to me, but... Uh, we can go down in the previous room. I guess that's a little bit faster than trying to go all the way up. Not many rooms left we can go through right now anyway, so... Might as well go through that. Look at that one! It just killed everyone instantly! Man. The chain reaction power-up is actually just really good for this mode because there's so many enemies which are really close to each other. 
And there was a big star, which gave us a nice power boost right there. Because these guys die pretty quickly, but there's just so many of them, and it seems that only our punch is really pretty good at knocking enemies back. Like, the projectiles don't do a very good job at doing that. And our hitbox is pretty silly <laughs> when it comes to punching people. Like, enemies can be above me and I'll still hit them somehow. But I'm okay with that. Especially since at the start of the game, you really only have a punch, so it would be kind of mean if you wouldn't be able to fight them very well. I guess this is the door I opened with that key earlier? Yeah, it was easy. Yeah, this room. I guess there was just enemies in that thing or something. I can't imagine what else would be in there. Hmm, I think there's... A, yeah, there we go. Charge time, because it's awesome! That was a little bit overkill, maybe, but it worked. <laughs> Booster module. Sweet sauce. Give me that, too. One more to increase max power. And we are doing good. Ah! Nearly jumped right into those. I guess, uh, like, if I just fly right into them, it'll probably damage them as well, but... It's tricky, it, a room this small. And trying that was somewhat of a bad idea, but... We got our damage reduction power up, so it's fine. There's nothing to worry about. Oh, right, they have bubbles as well. Balls, rather, not bubbles. Bubbles is a character. Man, I just destroyed everyone with one attack. <laughs> Pretty much. Ah, oh, and another locked door. And I don't think there's any way of me getting through there. Oh, man. So, I guess the doors that I put off going through for the longest time were actually the doors I had to go through to continue the game. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, well. What are you going to do? I think I should actually, like, pass by a safe area at least, so... Maybe I could save the game before continuing in that direction. Oh, actually, no, I won't. Never mind. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll just go up then, I guess. Why not? I'm just going to steer clear of enemies unless I really fly right into their face or something. But I think this was the door I had to go through. Yeah. And just ignore those guys. Those big jerks trying to hit me. I don't want to be hit by those guys. And go through the door. Ah! Wow, okay. <laughs> Enemies cleared. Sure, why not? And uh, that brings us back to the room where we've already been. And doesn't look like there's anything there. So I'm just going to go over here. And there's a save room. It was worth it all along. Not really, but... Hey, there's another door here. So it was. Never mind. Double worth it. And punching enemies is just going to be my main form of attacking, right, I think, right now. Because it does seem to work very well against these guys. Because they make them go so much slower if you punch them. Though, it also helps to just headbutt them repeatedly with my face. And just take a lot of damage for no real apparent reason. There we go. God, the chain reaction is so good. Ooh, maximum power increase. I like that. Very good, very good. Ah! So many enemies, though. Like, even though we can reflect some of these attacks, it's still a lot of things to look out for. Uh, don't hurt me. I agree, Bubbles, with your squeaky, squeaky voice. Oh, man. There we go. Enemies cleared. I wouldn't mind another save room. It would be a bit odd to have so many save rooms so close to each other, but... Regardless of that, I wouldn't mind another save room. Although, oh, yeah, that works too. <laughs> I could just have three health power-ups up, I suppose. That, that, that is an equally good compromise as a save room, pretty much. <sighs> God, I do love the music, though. The music is probably one of the higher points for me. It's a bit quiet in my speakers right now, but... Like, in the video, it actually sounds quite nice, in my opinion. Uh, energy's a bit low, but there's a power-up over there already again, so... Hopefully that'll fix it a bit. Oh, what's that? It is Hyper Flight! <laughs> it's that power-up, which I'm probably gonna neglect for the entire game again. And god, I am really bad at choosing the routes to take, because... It seems like we, we literally took the most wrong route we possibly could have taken out of every single possible choice we could have made. So, you know, in a sense, it's sort of impressive, but at the same time, I'd rather be impressive in different ways, which are less inefficient. <laughs> oh, well. 
At least now we get some, to do some more flying. And we got to clear some rooms, which maybe with those keys we would have otherwise not cleared, so... In the end, it was it was totally worth it. It was totally what I had in mind the entire time. Don't worry about it, guys. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> was it left here? I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah. That's pretty much the, the only door I can go through right now. The door on the bottom right is blinking on the map, and I'm not really sure what that means. Because it's not like I can go there, for as far as I know, at least. Oh, the sewers. That's fair enough. Oh! Nearly got hit by that. Don't want to do that. I do want that, though. Maximum health increased! Very good. Very nice. Maybe I should use a different attack for a change. Maybe I should use the laser beam again. I haven't used that in a while. Maybe I should charge it up a bit and then... Kabloom! Oh god, that looks so weird. <laughs> uh, does, do they all have the same, like, uh, charge up attack with that? Because, yeah, I guess only Blossom does it to the left and right. That's kind of strange. Ice Barrage. I guess I probably don't have to charge it as long as I do either. Like, I think I can start shooting a lot sooner than I actually do, but... I always feel it's sort of necessary to charge it for as long as possible just to get the most out of it, but... In some situations, I might as well just start shooting immediately just to get rid of the one enemy that I'm actually trying to shoot at. And oh no! That was close. God, I nearly got destroyed by that bomb over there, and that would have been very sad. But fortunately, we managed to survive. Let's see if that bomb can destroy that guy. Not very well, but it did some damage, I think. It tried. <laughs> Gold star for trying, nonetheless. Let's get that booster module. Maybe, maybe I'll get enough booster modules to actually use Hyper Flight at all, ever. But I'm going to put that in the low hope pile of things that could possibly happen during this playthrough. Because Hyper Flight simply isn't the greatest thing compared to, to some of the other power-ups. Don't you dare hit me, you jerk. These little ones can hit me because they don't deal that much damage. The big ones! They're all, they're all big jerks. They deserve the pain that I'm giving them. Oh! Especially that one right there. Trying to shoot bubbles like that. God, I want more games where there's like force fields which you can actually just destroy because it's so convenient. Don't. Oh, jeez. Uh. Don't hit me like that. It's unpleasant. I'm gonna have every power up before I find key number two. Like every single health up the world has ever seen will be in my possession by the time I actually find key number two. Didn't mean to fly into that bomb with my face, but oh. Hopefully that won't have too many negative repercussions. Hey, there we go. The equalizer. The, ma the thing that makes every negative thing become positive anyway, because you have just become pretty much fully healthy again. The health power-ups can be so strong. The big ones do seem pretty rare, but when they do happen, it's pretty much always at the right time, so it works. Oh, jeez. Because I think I would have been dead if that bomb would have hit me uh, without the health power-up, and that would have been very sad. Don't destroy me, please. Bubbles, uh, Blossom rather. Not even close. Is, is either of those a save room? Because I'm I'm kind of tempted to go for the save room right now just to get some health back, but... Whatevs. Uh oh, it's a key. It's a key. It's a lot of balls, though. A lot of purple. Oh, and they all exploded. It's key number two. It's finally... Finally found. <laughs> you finally found key number two. And I guess the key does actually give you like back all your health and energy as well, which is really convenient. Because man, our health and power were both not looking too great right there. But it's fine. It's cool. I me I meant to do that. Oops. Hey, and there's a power up over there, which inevitably I should be able to get. I mean, come on, come on. Don't be such a jerk. Just get exploded. Thank you. And how do I get down there? Because I want the giant up arrow of power. Give me the giant up arrow. Let me into your domain, up arrow. Is there a door? Yeah, there's a door. In the Ugh. Nah, that's unfortunate. I want to get it now. Why do you taunt me with your beautiful items game? Powerpuff Girls to the rescue! 
destroy doors, get everywhere. Even with all of our powers, the game has put in a new mechanic to stop me from going places. And it's taunting me with items, which I know I don't really need, but they're fun to have anyway. How do you manage to taunt me so much, even when I already have this many things? You are an impressive little creation game. Hmm. Door to the right leads back to where I once was. I can go up, I suppose, because there's a thing. Yeah, I might as well go up just to go through the room in the middle. Let's see what this is. I think it's this one. Well, that was worth it. <laughs> Probably should have waited a bit before picking that up, but oh well, whatevs. Nothing to worry about now. Oh my god, though. Look at this nonsense. Definitely should have waited before picking that up. Would have been the right call, but oh well. Where are you? There you are. Go, go, wave beam powers. I need your powers of walls. Okay, never mind. Man, that actually lasted quite long for something I charged for so little. And, uh, yeah, that pretty much brings me back to the location where I wanted to be, so... Now that's cool. Because I want to go through that door, and then I want to go through that door. It tempts me with its possible locations. Is there anything here? I did clear this room, but I honestly don't remember it at all. Did I clear it? Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, man. I'm bad at video games. I'm bad at remembering things in video games. Especially when you can just look at the map and find out if it's true or not. Then you just stop remembering anything because, you know, what's the point? I wish I shot just that ever so slightly more lower, but... Yeah. God, that attack is cool. This this is still just a game with my favorite charge attack, I have to say, because it feels so satisfying to just shoot a million projectiles at someone. Never stops being satisfying. Yeah. Even when you accidentally fire it prematurely. Uh. Get out of here. I said, hey, how are you so, so strong? And two doors. I'm going to go through the top one. Because I suspect that that's a dead end. Or that it will lead me to a room where I want to be. So either way, it's a win-win. Don't hit me. Don't. And you hit me anyway. Because I didn't stop dashing soon enough. God, these guys are so greedy, though. They just try to punch through their own friends just to hit me. Most greedy circles I've ever seen. Come on. Charge attack so strong. Blossom always stronger. <laughs> Blossom with charge attack. Indestructible. Man, they might have as well just called this game Blossom and the rest. Because she is just so good. Do more damage with melee attacks. Awesome. Yeah. I don't know how worth it that is. Well, I guess this is a melee attack as well. Just punching them at all. Yeah, that's pretty strong. <laughs> I'm going to say that's pretty much worth it. Because killing those guys in two hits is is good. It's very, very good. Because they're pretty good at actually doing damage when they're in high numbers and they all just gang up on you like that. But... Now we have the power to punch slightly harder. And they will not be able to defeat us when we have the power of slightly better punches. Oh. What? There's a key inside that circle? You crazy. You crazy game. But I will go with it and just destroy everything. I guess it makes sense because what, what else are you going to do with the boss battles than hide keys inside them, I suppose. But still, though. Great. Ah, uh, don't hurt me. Let's do this. Charge it, charge it, charge it, charge it, charge it. Bow. Let's do that. <laughs> Let's go with Bubbles. When in, the, when in the boss battle, go with Bubbles, because Bubbles is the strongest of the warriors when it comes to boss battles. I don't know if that's actually true, but it just feels more powerful against the boss for some reason. Even though... I'm pretty sure they deal roughly the same amount of damage, except maybe uh, Buttercup, just because she's more stronger when it comes to dealing with enemies behind walls, but I don't know. Somehow, this character's attack just... It, it's just a bit... It, it's like, it just seems to go on a bit longer. It seems to actually go in the right direction, which helps, I suppose, as well. Like, you have a little bit more control over what you're trying to hit, and, and she's just more adorable. 
I said it. Bubbles more adorable than Blossom, no matter what she thinks. Oh, and there's a door that opened now. Maybe the blinking door just means that that was a door that was previously locked and you can go through it now. Uh, and I think I might go to the door to the top there just to get out of the way. There's going to be a door in the cave. There's a bunch of doors in the cave, which just seems to lead to very, very small rooms. So I'm kind of curious about those, but... I'm going to go up first because... While the music in the caves is probably my favorite... I, c I like the colors here more. <laughs> and that's my reasoning for going to, to this room first. I'm pretty sure... Oh, no, this might actually be the right direction. Yeah, it is actually. Wow. I thought I was in a different room, but I guess I wasn't. Which is fine. He is cute. 